Now, one thing that I think is going to be pretty big in crypto or Web3 is the idea of Web3 identity or social identity. Now, we haven't really seen too much in this industry so far, but we have seen a few things uh, over the last few years with the launch of ENS, the Ethereum naming service, and uh, also some of the new protocols coming, uh, such as decentralized social media, which we've got uh, some examples with, with the Lens protocol. Now, there's a protocol that uh, I recently came across and uh, I thought it'd be pretty fun and interesting to kind of talk about what it is exactly and kind of how it works. It's something that I'm still exploring and maybe I can still explore a little bit more in the video as we go along. Um, so yeah, I thought let's just jump straight into it and uh, talk about this. So this is called uh, Fee Land, P-H-I, um, and it's an application that's actually built on top of ENS. Um, so essentially, if you actually want to uh, use this application uh, and have fun with it, uh, you need to get an, uh, a dot .eth uh, address so you need to get an ENS address um, and uh, you know perhaps I'll make a video about ENS shortly um, but you know for for today's uh, video I'm going to assume that you have one already um, and essentially this is a an application that essentially a social identity application that lets you um, show off some of the achievements that you've made, some of the things that you've done, some of the adventures and quests that you've been on in the crypto space. Um, and it just lets you show it off really. Um, so if you have um, a, a .eth domain, um, well, you can basically claim one of these pieces of land um and when you've got a piece of land you can directly click on this over here uh for every dot eth address you have one piece of land here so i've got a dot eth address and so they've given me one piece of land here uh, and basically i can uh for all the different quests and adventures that i do um there'll be different quests over here so you know let's just click on one just to give you an example um for example over here if you do a swap on uniswap um you basically can claim this item uh, and then what you can do so for this one you have to swap five times so in this wallet I haven't even swapped five times um, so all you, all you need to do is uh, claim you can claim this um, uh, quest this quest reward once you've completed it uh, and then you can basically add them to your land and essentially showcase all the different achievements that you've that you've done um, so you can see um, there's a few different DeFi ones here um some nft quests as well so using pseudoswap or ba basically going on OpenSea and uh, making some nfts yourself um there's some beginners quests as well like uh, you can see these are some of the ones that i've already claimed already um and yeah basically it's all about just doing uh various different achievements on chain uh, and essentially showing them off um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, let's see if I can go to my account. Okay, so I can see that I've currently got uh, five quests. Um, Curve Barter. So I've done a swap on Curve. And because of that, I was able to achieve this um, monument. Uh, I've uh, done a swap on Uniswap. So I get the, the Uni kind of chess piece. Um, and uh, what, what do I have here? I've used Snapshot to vote, um, I've used OpenSea and I have an ENS domain. So I've basically claimed these different uh, achievements, these quests, uh, and I get these little items that I can basically add to my land. Um, and so here you go, you can see that here's my land. Um, and all I need to do is go to my land and I can uh, basically deposit these things. So uh, what should we put in? Let, let's put the Uniswap um, chess piece in. Um, this is this is on Polygon, by the way. I didn't I didn't mention that. This is on this on this is on the Matic network. Uh, and then all I need to do is basically just click on this, I believe. Um, oh, edit land. Here we go. And there you go. I can start putting uh, some of these things in place, uh, which uh, you know I think is uh, really nice. So we're gonna just put that there. And uh, we're just gonna click save. Um, one of the uh, annoying things is that you do have to pay um, gas fees every time, but thankfully this is on Polygon, so it doesn't cost uh, too much at all. And there you go. Look, here, here we here's my uh, land so far. We haven't got too much going on here. Um, what we can do is we can actually buy some roads and things like that. So let's have a look. We've got some fences over here. Uh, Twitter icons. Hmm. 
Oh, the YouTube block. I think we should definitely get that. Uh, that would be nice to add to our land. We'll get one of those. Um, let's see if the do they have any roads or like um, something that they can just put on the floor uh, next to these icons. Let's have a look. Street. Ah, here we go. Um, so yeah, let's get. Let's just buy a couple of these for now. I just want to test it out really. So um, we'll get some of these. Uh, and all of these different items, they're all NFTs by the way. So um, uh, you're able to um, do, you can you can send them to other people. Uh, you can send them to other wallets and things like that. So uh, we've got uh, a few of these things, so let's add them in. So yeah, let's put the, we should put the YouTube at the front, shouldn't we, somewhere here maybe. Uh, we can start adding a road in. Maybe we shouldn't have that there. Yeah, so yeah, there's loads of little fun things that you can do here. Um, uh, you know, add, add add lots of different icons and things like that. And basically create your own world, uh, essentially. And, um, you know, at the end, you, you know, you're going to want to create some sort of land like this um, where you can showcase all sorts of stuff. Um, Let's have a look at what does playground, where does playground take you? Okay, so here we go. We can just kind of play around with different things here. See how it looks. Um, build build kind of whatever you want. Um, and, you know, if you've done kind of transactions on Pseudoswap, you'll get something like this. If you've done, if you've got like different achievements, maybe you've uh, held a certain amount of tokens or, or something like that. Again, you can uh, basically claim all these items and it's essentially just social identity. It's essentially just a way for you to showcase some of the things that you've done, some of the interesting things that you've uh, gone gone through. Uh, it kind of encourages you to basically interact with as many different applications as possible because there will be, um, you know, different rewards. So, so look, here you go. You can get this ENS train if you hold at least 100 ENS tokens. Um, so that, that's quite expensive to be fair. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I just thought I'd show you this. Uh, there's lots of different quests available, so go and try some of them out. You can see that I'm working towards uh, some of them. Um, have a play around, uh, you know, if you want, you can share your felines with me uh, and uh, hopefully we can build some stuff. They do have um, some uh, competitions, they do have some leaderboards as well, which is always good to see. I wonder if we can actually uh, have a look at other, other users' lands. That would be kind of cool. Let's see. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, I, I'm not too sure. Um, but um, anyway, have a play around. Let me know your thoughts. I think Web3 identity is going to uh, play a bigger role in future. Um, the more the more we kind of um, develop this space, the more Web3 identity and, and social identity anyway is going to play a part. You know, people already care so much about them with the NFT profile pictures, you know, Twitter and Instagram now have support for them as well. It's a big deal. Uh, people really do care about it. And so, you know, it's something to be aware of. Oh, look, look on screen. Um, this this uh, this wallet's got a, a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. That's crazy. Look how packed this is. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see some of the different achievements that people have done and uh, and showcase them off to everyone. So uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to do today. I just wanted to cover this application because I thought it was kind of fun, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about social identity? Uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And of course, I'll be back with another video soon.